What's up gang? Today we have a Fast and Furious, this is the original. Uh, it has a, the dreaded no signal that we get with this all the time. Uh, so I'll, I know what's wrong with this one, but I'm gonna go through kind of all the scenarios that you run into. Hopefully I cover all of them. Uh, so stick around and we'll get this one fixed. We also have another one with no signal down here. The TV's gone into a power save mode. But I wanna go through all the problems and things you should go through if you do come up with no signal. And there may be more, and if there are, uh, go ahead and, and leave a comment and uh, let us know so that way we can update it. Um, if Even if you've come across your problem in this video early on and say, you know, two minutes from now and the video's 20 minutes, go ahead and watch till the end because most of this stuff has a bigger root cause and eventually it's gonna to have to be addressed. So stick around for that. Okay, first thing you wanna do if you come into this right, situation. On your buttons here, you can try to start a game or coin it up. This one, the game is going, it has all kinds of lights going. So it doesn't look like the game is on for this one. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna open up the control panel or you can reach around from the back, but you wanna turn the computer on um, if you're gonna do it from here, it's these three or those four bolts right there at the top and this will fold down and then you can just hit the button. It's right there. Uh, if the computer is already on, then just hang on a second and, and I'll get to you in a minute. Uh, if your computer was off and it comes on and then the game boots normally, then what you wanna do is, is go ahead and let it play for a few minutes. Then you wanna cut it off for a minute and then cut it back on. Give it a good long break and then during the power cycle, turn it back on and check and see if the computer comes on by itself. Now, if it does, then you're probably okay for a while and it's probably just a glitch. But like I said, stay till the end. If it does not come on, you probably have a bad battery on your motherboard, which is gonna be inside the PC. We'll look at, we'll look at the back of the cabinet later. Um, so you're gonna wanna pull your PC and, and you're gonna wanna well, actually, I'll... so now we're all on the same page. If your computer was already on but not playing and still said no signal, this is where you want to be too. Um, you may or may not have a battery problem though, but there's the battery there. It's a 2032 or any of them that are that disc shape or size. The number is really, the, the 20 is what is important. The other two are the thickness. And so you can kind of get away with a little bit thicker, a little bit thinner. But what you wanna do is, is kind of get this stuff out, all out of your way, all this wiring, and pull the motherboard out. And you want to, first you wanna test your battery and make sure that it's good. But you wanna check all these capacitors for bulging caps, which this one had several, and it's actually been worked on multiple times. And you also wanna check your uh, video card for bulging caps. Now this one, when I pulled it, was super, super hot. It had bulging caps. The battery was actually good. It had been replaced recently. Um, probably it was having the same problem and I changed the battery. Um, so I changed all the caps and put it back in, but it was really, really dirty and it was holding heat. So most of the, most of the repair that I did on this was uh, cleaning it all out. And actually I lied because the caps on this thing were just really, bitched for me to change for some reason. I just had the worst time. I had two different irons. I, I had all flux I needed. I just had all kinds of problems. Um, but clean everything really good. Clean out your, blow out your power supply with an air compressor. Clean all your fans or replace them. Make sure there's good air getting through here because these computers in the, in the original Fast and Furious are hot garbage. It, this one I think is a Dell and is a little bit better. It's still hot garbage. Every one I've messed with has bulging caps and it just gets so hot on the inside. Those games are like hot boxes. So make sure if you've gotten this far or even if you didn't have any problem, you know, didn't have a problem that needed you to get this far, go ahead and do this step because you're going to have to do it. But clean everything, change any caps that are needed, then you put it back in and then we can go ahead and take it out to the game and see hopefully that it works. And the other part was hopefully I wired this thing back up right. I see there's 
just stuff everywhere. Like this guy I'm kind of wondering about here. But let me look this over real fast. I took some good pictures first, so hopefully it's just because it's all pulled out and that it looks bad. <laughs> all right, I'll be right back. I wanted to show you this. I know it's upside down, but this power supply inside the PC has been replaced at 8 21 15 so that was seven years ago so my guess is this thing's probably on its last leg not only that but there's a a repair log written on the side of the case of this pc so it starts over here it's just to show you guys how bad it is okay won't power up in 2017 replace the power supply uh that one says 2015, so it's even an older one. 831, found, computer off, turn it on and off, comes on. Change video card, and CMOS battery died. Locked up virtual memory, new video card. <laughs> and a new BioStar, maybe a new uh, hard drive. Another new power supply, 122.18. 33018, new fan on video card. 4218, locked up and attract replaced video card. 5118, changed hard drive software, Fast and Furious 0.05. 5218, new hard drive. What is that, like the next day? Yes, yeah, the next day. New hard drive, loaded, working, 3.04. And this one, I think, is, no, that's even after that, I think. Uh, locks up when playing game, dongle needs to go back. <laughs> so this thing, I don't know, it, it worked here for a long time. Um, I've, I had to, I think I worked on it once already and it worked for about a year. So anyway, <clears throat> let's see if it gets going. It gets, this gets it going. I'm kind of, uh, half and half. It was so hot in there. I don't know if it, it could have cooked the, uh, So here's our computer and we have power here we have the dongle and whatever you call that cable there that back in there uh, here's the link cable the red one this is a USB cable this is for sound this is for video and the video card uh, so everything's hooked up it doesn't use this one and so we just power it up. Now, I don't expect it to come on. I think it has other problems. I think this power supply is um, really close to dead or dying. Um, and then we may have some motherboard problems. It got so hot that I think the, uh, the little CPU processor chip, whatever it's called right there, could be smoked on this one. But we're gonna try it anyway. It, regardless, if it comes on, it's good for now. If it doesn't come on, then I need to check uh, this for voltage, make sure it's getting voltage, make sure it's putting out voltage. If it is, then we need to check the video card, the RAM, uh, and then the last thing would, would be the motherboard itself. But I think it's probably gonna be that power supply, personally. Uh, but let's go ahead and turn it on. Nothing, it should beep. It'll go through like a self test and then it'll beep after, after post. I hear nothing, I don't think it's on. Kicking it on. Now it's not coming on at all. I wonder if that switch is even hooked up. <laughs> okay, so here's where the, the power switch is plugged in. It's right there. Uh, I'll show a close up, better close up picture here so you can see it. Just in case you unplug those and you need to know where they go. That's also the battery there. Um, but yeah, let me check this out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the front off and just make sure that this uh, power cable is still connected because I already pulled the battery out of this and if you pull the battery out of this, it won't start up on its own. You'll have to power it up and then we'll have to get into the BIOS menu after that. So let me see if it is just needing to be turned on or if it won't come on because of the power supply. Be right back. 
You got the oil power supply out. This is actually the third one I think I've tried and not having any luck, uh, but I'm not getting the power supplies to come on either. So I'm gonna try the little trick where I can jump start them. No, we are not giving up yet. I still got three more hours to stay. So um, what I'm gonna try is just uh, to jump start this thing. Uh, you want to short the start wire, which is this fourth pin, the green wire, and then the ground next to it like this. And then I have it plugged in, so all I gotta do is turn it on now. And it has power. So it will come on, but it won't come on in here. So something in here is shorted. What I'm gonna try now is just unhooking things one at a time, hard drive, the RAM, the video card, and uh, the CD drive. Just see if uh, something, one of those things is bad. That's easier to replace than the motherboard. But if it's the motherboard, then it's a lot, a lot more difficult. But really, this whole thing needs to be replaced, as you can see by the uh, repair log. <laughs> but uh, let me keep looking. Real fast, I do want to note that it could be the power button going to the motherboard that's not working. So I set up my meter, and I'm testing the wires for continuity. So it should beep whenever I press the button. So it's... Not the uh, wiring to the button anyway. And I verified that I'm in the right spot, which is right through that hole right there. So I'm gonna keep looking. Um, I, right now I have the CD drive and the hard drive unplugged. I'm gonna plug everything else back in and see if it fires up that way. Then I'm just gonna keep pulling stuff until it either it comes on or it doesn't. <laughs> I'm Walter Day, the father of eSports, and you're watching Maddie Moe's Arcade. So the final verdict on this one is still unknown. Uh, I, I tried, you know, pulling everything out one at a time, putting it back in, pulling it out again, and nothing will cause it to fire up. Checked everything that I think of. I mean, I, I may have missed something. Uh, we have a computer guy and he's gonna take a look at it. And just in case, you know, we might be able to replace that processor or whatever it is that's underneath there, I forget, CPU or whatever. Um, and if not, it's like a really specific computer and video card to replace. So I'm going to let him take care of that, but I will report back exactly what we did in this situation. Um, tomorrow, well, I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow's video, but, um, tomorrow here at work, I'm going to work on the next Fast and Furious, which I know needs to go into the BIOS menu and deal with, uh, changing the battery. So... At least we'll get that covered. I, I would have liked to have got it all in one video, but uh, it may be a whole process to do that too. So um, I'm going to end this one here, and this one will be part one of two because that is really going to be part two of this. And hopefully we can get some uh, word on this one in between. But thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. So these two right here are going to be ground and 5 volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it, too. Super but if hang I gotta on. get what I want! <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah! Okay. It's, it's, it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.